Paul Dillette versus Samson Dota. What a knockdown, drag out affair, whale seals. And this is, of course, your winning, your official winning video for uh, fan requested, fan, 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 requested Friday. Of course, I, uh, I did the original winning video, which I asked you guys to get up to 500 likes. Doesn't look like it's gonna make it. Tell you what, you get this one up to 500 likes, and I will do the last two videos. Nick Walker, Art Atwood. Big Rammy versus Brandon Curry. Interesting, interesting. But this one here, like I said, is the official winning video. This one's for fun, guys. Not to be taken too seriously. You know what I mean? So expect some bucka buckas and some wooza wazzles. Here's the front double bicep pose. And I'll tell you right now, this is not a good shot for Paul Dillette. It's in a lineup. He's already did the shot probably three or four times, and it is at a it it is at a tilted thusly angle. A little tongue tied today. Now here's what I mean. See that? See how much better he looks? He's more front on. And I think this is a better version. I think this is the ninety-four Arnold's Classics. Come on, Paul. Show me the big muscles, Paul. And yes, Paul, he has, and I know I get criticized for this, but it's true, he has a narrow frame. From his head to his wheels, his hips, everything's narrow, up and down. It, it is his huge muscles that are big and accentuate how big he is. And plus, he's six foot three. That's huge, guys. That's huge. So, you know, if one of these wide bodybuilders was six foot three, they'd be a lot wider than that, I'm sure. But either which way, Dominant in that front double, I would suggest. Samson Douda, his torso's good, but I think he needs a little bit more in the way of arm size to compete against uh, Paul Delette. I mean, let's face it. Here's the front lat spread. Oh my soul, I've never seen such a good... Oh, somebody is playing a mean trick on me. Now here's what Paul Delette really looks like. And this just goes to show you the importance of a symmetrical physique. I mean, Samson Douda, cut him in half. He is mere image. This front lat spread. And no, he doesn't have that pop, that muscle separation of a Paul Delette. But I'll be darned if he isn't defeating Paul based on that symmetrical uh, front lat spread. Here's the side chest. Not a good picture for Paul. It's pan back. Takes the size and detail away. Now let's just pop this one on here. And yeah, from the side, you can see Samson is quite thick. He's a hearty big lad. He's a big, thick dude. From the front, I think Paul. But I don't know. From the side, I still kind of think Paul. <laughs> he's, he's awesome. He's awesome. Here's the side tricep. And he does really, Paul, really does have a luxurious physique. Keep in mind, guys, sizing a little bit difficult. But we got to understand Paul was a monster. A monster towered above Derry and Yates, who was like 5'11". So he was Samson's, what, 5'10", guys? I think Paul Dillette, he's got Samson, Samson's number, except for that front lat spread. Is that, a, is that a, like a, judging it as a torn muscle to be totally unsymmetrical? Let's have a look at the back. Now here is where Paul Dillette loses his matches. You can see the wheels, even the arms from the back. Everything is huge, monstrous. From those front shots, side shots, he was destroying Samson. Well, except for that front lad, but we all know how I feel about that. But look at the little petite back. For a guy this big, he needs a back like this one. Like this one here. And that's, now that's what it would look like, guys. And he would be very hard to, do, to defeat in any shot. Paul to let that. Actually, this, I don't know why we'd use this back. This guy really had a, a weaker back, all things considered. Now here, let's have a, a black and white picture. And this is, I believe, maybe the best back of all time. Hmm? This would be. I mean, lower half, arms thrown into the equation. Well, delts. The delts of the, uh, the guy that owns that back. You guys know who it is. You guys know what I'm saying. But anyway, yes, that's not how it is, guys. Samson wins. And here's the rear lat spread, and Samson wins this one, too. 
destroys him. Not only in size and thickness, Paul's got big traps. 93 here for Paul. Couldn't find a good rear lat spread of the, the best years of him. But totally unsymmetrical, just like the front lat spread. And I'm sure some of you guys are going to say, or even comment. Some of you guys will even go as far as to message me and send me this picture here. But Merck's Maximusul, why don't you use this picture right here? This one sucks. Distorts everything. Almost makes him look symmetrical. It's a screenshot, for goodness sakes. So Paul, as dominant as he is from them other shots, he's losing the back. You go to the abs and thigh. And this one's a good one, too, for Paul. What a shame. What a shame. Every pose. I mean, those abs. Does anybody even talk about the midsection of Paul? That's maybe his best feature. You know? Not only was it a chiseled, ripped to shreds man soon, perfectly proportioned, but so small his waistline made everything else just pop. Lots of wow. So as we round the last quarter of this round robin tournament, this bodybuilding pose down, pitcher, po pitcher comparison pose down. We got to understand, guys, that Paul, they would probably force him to improve those back shots, at least as far as making them, try to make them a little bit more symmetrical. If not, put on some size for the rear double. But ultimately, guys, his conditioning was good from the rear lat or the rear uh, standing relaxed, or whatever, standing position, you could see the guy was in condition, but ultimately would in fact lose the back shots. But I think that he's doing enough, maybe to scrape out an edge with Samson Douda. We're not taking this one too seriously though, guys. I love Samson. Lighting, obviously, much better back then. They didn't have a TV screen redirecting all the light, things of that nature. Get that, get rid of that screen, get rid of that screen. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yeah, Paul Delette, he was a legend, guys. And if we did have a rear lat, probably a, a proper rear lat spread pitcher, I think it would be a little bit closer from 94, because he obviously was his best in 1994. He was good other years too, but I just think he was his most polished, his most complete. But yeah, Paul Delette, what a legend. And Samson Douda, we have yet to see the best of him. For sure, for sure. And if you throw the posing into the equation, the posing, uh, the routines, routines, things of that nature, Samson wins hands down. He wins, definitely, because he wouldn't, you know, convulse, pass out, alien baby. Hit thumbs up on the video, subscribe, have a great one.